So today we're going to look at editing and revising, which are two different things. So go ahead and we're going to open up our language arts notebook. Scrolling down, we are going to go to page 42. Now, revising, you are going to do the arms. Revising, if you remember when we talked about it in class, that's making it sound better. This is where you can add a sentences and words to make your story sound and flow better. R remove words and sentences that are repeated or don't make sense or match the story. M, move sentences or words to help your story flow better. And S, substitute or change out words for better words or sentences that provide a clearer picture. We moved these. You need to add more to I believe I am right. We don't know what you believe you're right about, nor do we know why. So we have to add words. We have to remove words from, I believe that dogs are so much better in general than every single type of possible cow out there. Some of those are a little redundant, so we need to get rid of them. They are, they are better for this reason. Movies provide much better stories. We need to probably put movies before the they are better for this reason because we don't know what they are until the second sentence. So this sentence should probably read, movies provide much better stories. They are better for this reason. And we're going to substitute out these lame-o words because movies are cool, they are fun, is lame-o. We need some weirdo words out there. So if revising is making it sound better, editing is going to make it look better with our cups. Capitalization of beginning of sentences, names, places, months, titles, and pronouns. Our usage, make sure our nouns and our verbs match up. Punctuation, make sure you include it and it's the right one. And spelling. Use your resources to help, particularly if you're writing online, there's always spell check. So when, capitalize the start of a sentence, Jessica is a person, or is her name, I should say, Montana is a proper noun place. Glacier National Park is also a proper noun place. Saying, I sees many animals that wanted love and care makes no sense because sees does not correctly go with I. It's either I see or they, she sees or he sees many animals. One is in first person, one is in third person. Punctuation. I ate chicken fries, sauce, and ice cream for dinner that was very nutritious. We're missing commas after chicken fries, sauce, and a period after dinner because we got to run on otherwise or something that just doesn't make any sense. And lastly, dinosaurs are an amazing historical event. The quick way to figure it out is if you have the little red lines, it's spelled incorrectly. Make sure to move your boxes where they're supposed to be. Now, the C in cups was capitalization, and I've noticed that a lot of this still gets messed up. So I made my own separate page on 43. To remember when to capitalize, use mints. Months of the year should be capitalized. The pronoun I should be capitalized. 
names of proper nouns, such as names of people, names of streets, names of restaurants, names of places, etc., should be capitalized. Titles of books, movies, and other works should be capitalized. And the start of a sentence should be capitalized. In these examples, when I need help, I always ask my mom. That is the S, start of a sentence. When should be capitalized. Until my dad picks me up from practice, I, wait outside the school, is the I for your pronoun I. In fourth grade, we read Hoot by Carl Heisen. That is the title of the book or T. We never celebrate my birthday in November because my older sister's birthday is in December and we have a joint party. Both November and December are M months. And last but not least, we have my favorite actor is Chris Evans ever since I saw him in Boston. Those are names of people as well as a place. So both Chris Evans and Boston should be capitalized. Go ahead and look over your essay now and do some arms, cups, and mints. <laughs>